sisters and we are back today we have another special unboxing head for the day i wore something really springy even though it does not feel like spring out right now it's like 58 degrees and it's and it's almost june and gray and yeah <laughs> so our new special feature for this month is this cute little envelope <laughs> normally we got like it's this big it's this huge box that's why i'm excited because yes. this is completely different and totally outside of our element Ish sort of yeah. thing, and it's not a box, obviously. A box. So, so, this is from the Heritage Letter. So, I'll show cool. you guys here. So, this is an actual envelope. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw the back of this, I was like, Oh, I got invited to a wedding. She, and then, she called me up and was like, We got invited to a wedding. And then, oh, wait, no. And then I read the back of it and I was like, Oh, okay. So, oh. anyways, it's really fancy. It. Yes, so uh, the Heritage Letter is a subscription that is six dollars a month, so it's one of the lower cost values that we have in a month. I dare say, yeah, besides like Walmart beauty bucks, it's probably the... And Ear Fleek is a little bit cheaper than that. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Did I say that? That's rude. That's Very rude. rude. So yes, this is one of the cheaper ones. Um, I, I'm not going to let you open this because I always so ruins envelopes. At opening. So did you explain, was I not paying attention to what it is? Like, So this, I was going to open it and then go okay. into it, but... Anyway, so <laughs> just like, you, you just somehow explain it and I wasn't listening for five minutes. That happens sometimes. It actually does. It does. So what it is is this subscription <laughs> will send out an actual letter from a historical figure. The figure changes every month. We don't know what we're going to get. So we're kind of just going to open this up, see what kind of a That's letter really we got. That's cool. It's like a history buff sort of Yeah. Letter. I hope it's a woman. This one was kindly sent to us for review, and so obviously awesome. we appreciate that a lot. And we will have a link down below for you guys if you want to get your own letter. So as well. we've got, you can open the actual letter. Um, so we have a photo and a timeline of the person, and the person is Henry Hudson. Looks like a nice European face right Ooh. there. He's got his, uh, <laughs> is it Tudor or Victorian style with his like nice little. It is. Yeah, actually, now I'm doubting myself. I don't know. Oh, where? Okay, so this is Henry cool. Hudson. He has, he's the Hudson River dude, yeah? Mm -hmm. Dude. <laughs> That's where insulting That's history is. That's the dude. So this is kind of cool. It's got the entire river. timeline on the back, so you can kind of see everything. Um, so one cool fact, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but Jordan and I both were homeschooled for a portion of our school Maybe years. Maybe you don't want to tell them. <laughs> People judge you. <laughs> It's the internet. That's We're getting judged no matter what. That's because you're homeschooled. No, that's just because I was <laughs> No, born we special. were in public school for a portion of our years, and then towards the end of it, um, more of our high school years, we were homeschooled during that portion then. Um, and that's strictly because the area that we live in does not have the best public schooling available, mm -hmm. and our parents really sought to have a better education and went with something way more difficult, let me tell you. What does I that have to do with algebra. Where are you going? <laughs> anyway, so what I was getting at with this subscription is this is great for that homeschool community. Oh, got it. Reaching out then if got you want to incorporate yes, some extra yes. things, extracurricular items. We went through an actual university yes. school program. However, it, there's a lot of families that they, they do their own. Yes their own coursework and this would be something cool to kind of add in there as a history especially more realistic like for students that maybe don't yes. learn as easily where they need visuals they need to yep and the fact that you're getting a letter i think is super cute too so, so you can open that i'm going to show the cute little picture we've got and it Ooh. says um i'm assuming his ship was called the half moon so it says henry's half moon on the hudson river so that's a really pretty it's not a postcard but it almost feels like it could be like just this like is like an it. actual letter. I don't oh know what goodness. I was expecting, but that is so cool. It's like written to you. It's kind of neat. It says my dear friend, this has been quite an interesting voyage Show thus them. far. Like it's an Show actual them. letter. So, and as you guys can see on here, this is quite detailed as well. So, yeah, this is really That's cool. That's awesome. So now I need a minute to like read this. It's dated September 14th, 1609. It's kind of cool. You can say, hey, I got a letter from 1609. I gotta be honest, I don't know much about Henry Hudson. I just know he has a river. Hudson. You know, he has a river. Yeah. 
named after him. Also it's Hudson weird. Bay, Hudson Strait. He has lots of water named after him. I love this. So one cool thing too from this company is they have additional um, activities and links available on their website that go along with whatever letter is sent to you that month. So there's more activities that you can incorporate with your letter and also learn more about them too. So I want to see this card. This is super cute. I've got this nice little postcard. It's really good quality too. I like it because it's like a thicker cardstock, which is nice. Um, so this is super. Cute. I feel like we should read some of this, otherwise, yeah, they're not gonna have a good idea as to what you're actually Go getting. For it. So if this part bores you, you don't have to listen to me talk. But <laughs> I'm going to read hard. part of the letter. <laughs> so it says, "This has been quite an interesting voyage thus far. I set sail from the port at Amsterdam in early April on the half main or moon with a crew of half English and half Dutch sailors." My contract with the Dutch East India Company, which is very famous, states that I am to search for a passage to China by a northeastern route by way of the north side of Nova Zembla, and that I am not allowed to think of discovering another route save that one. Okay, so he was trying to find a route to Asia. No, I get it. Okay. <laughs> Like he was trying, he was trying to go from Amsterdam to China north, like going up through right. the Arctic. And there's teacher Jordan ice there. everywhere. So that was a bad idea, Henry. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> you, Don't do it. You're going to freeze to death, Henry. I, I hate to break it to you. Isn't history interesting when you know how things are gonna turn out and you're like, "Don't do it." When you have geography classes, you're just like, <laughs> no. "Bad, Henry. Stop, Henry. <laughs> no, Henry, no. Save yourself." Up. Yet yeah, here we are, my crew and I, on a different <laughs> course, having met untold challenges and finding a passageway through the Northeast. No way! Like ice? My Dutch sailors are not accustomed to the cold and the language barrier between us English and the Dutch has proven most difficult. When we entered the Arctic Ocean, we found our way blocked by gigantic ice flows. I said that, Henry! I and you should have been watching more description, sisters. <laughs> The like of which I have never encountered. Disagreements among the crew escalated, and mutiny, that ever-present fear on a voyage such as this, could only be quelled by abandoning the northeastern route and heading to warmer waters. Oh we decided to sail west in hopes that a passable route to Asia could be found there. So, you know what I do like, too, about the way this is written? Is that it is appropriate for that time period which but it's I really not appreciate. so ridiculous yes. that you don't understand like there's not the bow by yeah like, those it's, those confuse me even <laughs> yeah so you can still understand it but it's still written for that time period so i do really respect that too because the company that makes this obviously is putting in the time and effort for that again i really appreciate the quality of everything in here um and for six dollars i forgot to mention that does include your shipping as well so that's all of your postage and everything so yeah um this is definitely a specific subscription box yeah you have to really enjoy history yeah. people in history and yep learning a little bit more maybe because i i don't know anything about this particular and gentleman and his fancy little to preserve history you have to keep learning going about on it. there this yeah. is what our modern day turtlenecks came from. Uh, it's true, a little fashion. Yeah, or neck braces, one or the other. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Somebody just looked at that one, it's like neck brace. I want that. So we will be including all of the links down below for you guys. Definitely check out their website yeah, and also cool. any of the activities that they have available. And as thank well. you so much to the Heritage Library. Yes, we greatly it. appreciate you guys sending this to us. Reading my letter. We're definitely gonna do that. So, all right, make sure you guys do all the things. We will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.